what if I told you adding animated overlays to your DJ live stream was literally that easy? It is, and I'm gonna show you how today right here on Overcast TV. Stick around. Let's go. What's happening guys? This is Jason from Overcast TV, and today, as promised, I am going to teach you the magic of layer masks. These can be used to basically do exactly what they sound like. They mask out certain parts of a video and allow other parts to look through. So you can use them to take a big piece of video and mask it down into very small pieces so that you, it looks like you've got all kinds of crazy animations going uh, when you really just got one video playing a little bit easier on your processor and looks pretty cool. Um, so without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys a couple of ways that we can use this technique. Um, so one of which is right here. So you can see here, I'm sitting in front of a background and I've got it lined up so that it you know, traces over and goes into that other background. And then I'm sitting right here above Logic Pro. And so if I were doing a live production live stream, we could show off what is happening on screen and our tools still have yourself sp separated out. Um, or you know, if you're doing a DJ live stream, you can have other graphics playing in the background, maybe a close up shot over your turntables, et cetera, et cetera. And then here's another one. Um, and this one I just wanted to show you, same example, literally the exact same graphics. Uh, but now you'll see that there is a totally different animation happening behind me here and also down below um, inside of it. And that's just because I've used different video elements to mask out and do that. So if you are interested in getting the graphics that are used in this video, I will be dropping a pack of three video loops and these PNG mask files. So you can get those over on the website. Check the description in the comments below for the video, and that'll give you all the details on how to take advantage of that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So per usual, the first thing that we're going to want to do is go down into our scenes in the bottom left here, click the plus at the bottom left corner, and we're going to call this animated overlays. Call it whatever you like. That's what we're gonna call it for the tutorial though. And here we are. So the first thing we're going to need to do is add a video that we want to mask out. So in this instance, what I'm going to add is the Club Night flashback, uh, which again, you can get if you look down in the description for the video below. So we'll call this the Club Night flashback. I'm just gonna use the initials, tell it okay. And remember, you always want it to loop, close file when inactive, and then go ahead and click Browse. From here, we're going to scroll down until I find the Club Night flashback. I'm going to use the extra glitchy one just because it's got a lot more movement in it. I'm going to go ahead and tell it OK. Now, as you can see, there is a lot going on in this file, and uh, it is the full size of the canvas already, so it won't need to do any scaling. I'm going to go ahead and lock that into place. Then going to go ahead and select the filters, go into the effect filters and click the plus. And the thing that I want to add here is the image mask blend. Uh, you can name it if you want to. I'm going to call this one over under because that's the name of the mask. Tell it OK. Go to browse. And now I'm going to browse for my over under frame PNG. Tell it open. And you can see right there, it's already masked it off. Now, it does considerably dim it if you are using the color channel. So you want to make sure you always switch this alpha mask over to the alpha channel. And now we can go ahead and close that out. Now you can see I've got these frames animating over there. And that's just one layer of video with a single layer mask. So that's only actually one layer loaded up. So the next thing I'm going to do is add that texture background. So I'm going to click plus and uh, I want to go ahead and just add an image this time. And We'll just call this one the backing. Tell it OK. And from here, I'm going to browse for it. And I want the camera inner frame. Tell it OK to open. OK. And this is much bigger than the actual size. So go back to the filters, click plus, scaling aspect ratio. Tell it OK. From here, I'm going to scale this thing down to uh, the size of the canvas. Great. Now I need to add my texture layer. Um, so I add a media source, call it textures, loop, close file when inactive, browse for it. This one comes out of my Get Wavy pack. You guys can use any video that you want for this. Any video that is animating, you can do this with, um, but I'm using this one out of the Get Wavy pack. I tell that okay. 
and that should load up on top. Great. Now, obviously that's pretty loud. So for this one, I also want to go into the filters, click the plus, add some color correction and tell it okay. I want to knock that opacity back to like 25%. It looks good uh, there. I want to turn the saturation up quite a lot and the contrast also. That's looking decent. Now, um, from there, the, the textures, I'm going to open those filters back up, click the plus, go back and add the Im image mask, tell it OK, and then I'm going to browse for that same inner file to mask it with. And then you can see now it's, it's masked out that fits just over inside of that frame. So now for those two, I want to go ahead and right click, select them both, say group selected items, enter. Uh, you can name the group if you want. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and do that. Right click rename and we're going to call this cam back group. Open up your filters, click plus, bring that scaling aspect ratio, tell it OK. Go back in here again, 960 by 540, tell it to close. And now this thing has uh, matched up real nice to the corner. We're going to go ahead and pull that back down into this corner so it sits in there nicely. And then from there, we'll go ahead and add a scene. And since we've already got our camera scene set up, if you've been following my other tutorials, tell it OK. And now you can see I'm rather large, so I'm going to need to do the same thing. So again, I'm going to select that and put it in a group. And this is so that it doesn't affect it in any of the other scenes that I'm using it in. And so once it's in the group, uh, add the filters, click plus, scaling aspect ratio. OK. Same thing here. I'm going to bring that down to the 960 by 540. Close it out. Drag yourself right in front of there. So you just make sure when you move those, you want to click and select them both so that it moves them both around and they stay synced up. But there you go. Uh, so now we've got those placed in nicely. That's looking pretty cool. You can see I sit here. Um, so we'll go ahead and lock all those in. And uh, yeah, I'm sitting nice and clean from my background, even though my hair is going everywhere. Uh, and that's looking pretty good so far. So now we just need to add in our final layer. So this would be whatever backing video. If you are producing live, you can do it with Logic, Ableton, uh, Fruity Loops, whatever your DAW of choice. Um, perhaps if you're DJing live, you would maybe want to have a camera right over your turntables or some other visuals. So anyway, just to give you some ideas of what else you might want to add, but go back down, add another source. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select Window Capture. And this would be if you've got Logic open or Ableton open, uh, whatever your DAW that you want to be showing off is, go ahead and say the Window Capture and then name it and you would browse for it. Uh, in this instance, I've already got Logic open. I've already got set up. So I'm going to go to add existing with Logic, tell it OK. And then you can see my window with Logic in the background. And then I simply just drag that to the back of the order of the scene, lock it into place and boom, I'm ready to do a production live stream just like that. So uh, I hope this gives you some great ideas of different ways that you can use animated video, animated overlays, and uh, just with some simple PNG files, which I'm sure you can find anywhere, maybe you even know how to make them yourself. But if not, uh, I am giving away the masks and the, um, the Club Night glitch pack. So the things that are playing on there right now, I will be giving out. If you do want those, just check in the description below. Other than that, guys, follow me at Overcast TV over on Instagram at Overcast underscore TV over on Twitch. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, leave me a comment. What else do you guys want to know about? Uh, should I switch over to Streamlabs and start doing tutorials on that yet? Or do we still want to learn some more here? Uh, are you guys ready for Resolume? Let me know what you want to learn about. I want to make the content that you want to watch so that you can make a better DJ live stream. I just want to make it as easy for you as possible. With that, guys, I am Jason, and I will see you next time. Until then. I'll see you online. Take it easy.